an example of our syringe sizes. So it, when we're administering um, drugs, be it um, intravenously or what we call intramuscular or subcutaneous. So this is via injection when we use the nasty needle, and um, or um, intravenously when we use a, a, a drip, a cannula. So when I was drawing up the injection earlier, we were using a small syringe with an intramuscular needle. So you can see this needle is a lot deeper. It needs to go a lot deeper, deeper to get into the muscle. And you can see that this one's a lot shorter. And that's what we call a subcutaneous injection. Um, so it just goes basically into the fat layer of the tissue. So much like insulin, when you see people give themselves insulin in the stomach, it's using that smaller needle. So the other method of drug administration or fluid administration is um, intravenously. So your most com common form of cannula is this one, which we call a peripheral cannula. And that is the one that just goes into your hand or your arm. That's that you see in, in hospital that we run drips through and that we can also administer drugs through. And the syringes, we can. there's all sorts of adapters that, that hook up to this cannula that we can quickly push a drug through at, or hook up the drip to. And that's your most common form. And then it goes down into more complex forms. This one goes in up near your neck and it goes into a larger vein up near the heart so we can actually administer uh, lots of fluids and lots of drugs into a much bigger vein. Uh, and you'll find the exit port of these three lumens down the line happen at different stages so the drugs aren't mixing in the bloodstream. And that's just a bit of an example of um, how we administer some of our drugs. I tried carrying the weight of the world But I only have two hands Hope I get the chance to travel the world But I don't have any plans